I know many of you out there are growing citrus trees for the first time and you're probably really excited. You've got some fruit growing. When is it gonna be ripe? How do you know? Welcome back to New Garden Road, where I share my love of gardening with you in a way that I hope will inform, inspire, and elevate you. Subscribe to my page and click the bell for notifications. Stay up to date on all the garden action coming at you. Here's a few quick tips that might give you some indication when to pick it. These are some of my Persian limes, and I can tell you they are ripe, man, because I've had a couple. Check it out. And this is usually about the color that I like them. Me personally, I look for a touch of color on my fruit. It doesn't have to be all the way orange or yellow, but if I see a little bit of that color and I squeeze it and it gives a little bit, I know it's kind of juicy. This is the Bloom Sweet Grapefruit. And I know they look a little bit green, but I've already started to pick them. They'll turn yellow eventually and you can kind of see that coloration varies on them got a pretty bright spot of yellow there underneath the leaves for some reason too oh yeah that feels good I might have to pick that one so I kind of have it in my mind that I see this kind of sheeny shiny glossy look on my citrus fruits and it really kind of calls to me like you got to pick me you got to eat this right now this is looking real good but the truth of the matter is sometimes the fruit will be matte and finish and it can be perfectly ripe this is a ruby red grapefruit i've already picked one of these they are delicious got some give to it got a little bit of sheen on there but these do tend to have a bit more matte finish different citrus varieties will ripen at different times that can be further complicated by their location. They may ripen at different times within different states. Some varieties like kumquats or mandarins, key limes, they can bloom off and on throughout the year. And so they're gonna have a cascade of ripening fruit. This is the Chang Chao kumquat. So productive. I like to let these get a little bit more orange. They can be kind of tart. One of the best recommendations that I can give you in determining whether or not your citrus fruit is ripe would be to try one, one at a time. Does the taste suit you? Bingo, you're done. That's all there is to it. Trust your taste buds. This is a really unique variety of blood orange and they just started to turn here in the last week. I've only been growing this one for a couple years. So there's about four set on this tree this is going to be a learning process for me. I'm going to definitely pick one of these real soon. Be aware that citrus fruit doesn't ripen after you pick it. It doesn't store carbohydrates like apples or pears. So you really got to nail this one. It's important to note that if you get some colder temperatures, that can encourage the flesh to release more sugars. This is the Sato Mandarin. Looks pretty good to me. Nice and orange, glossy. You can let citrus stay on the tree for longer. It's not like some other stone fruits that need to be picked at just the right time. Wrinkled or loose rinds may indicate that the fruit has been on the tree for too long. Here is a Mexican thornless key lime. Yeah, check it out when your fruit falls off the tree like that. That's a sign, folks. Um, you probably could have picked them before that. They'll turn yellow. You wanna get them just before that. But hey, that's my opinion. See what you like. A lot of this can be based on your personal opinion. You may like it a little bit tart. You may like it a little bit more sweet. But over time, you'll become accustomed to what the color and the give on the skin will be like. And that will help you determine whether or not they're ripe. All right, that's about all I can tell you about ripeness of citrus. So better get out there and start picking some. See what you can come up with. What's up, citrus? 